Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another book review by Dr. Donnelly Snipes. Today, we're going to be talking about Love Me, Don't Leave Me by Dr. Michelle Skeen. This is another one of those books that I have referred to in several of my classes. I think it's a really awesome, helpful, useful resource, which is why I'm doing the review on it. If you're interested in getting this book, you can save 25% on it and your entire order by using promo code 1168SNIPES or 1168SNIPES at newharbinger.com. Love Me, Don't Leave Me is not a huge book, but it provides a lot of super helpful activities and practical tools pretty much right out of the gate. And her table of contents is actually very explanatory, which I really like. I love reading a table of contents and going, okay, I kind of understand what might be in that chapter. So I'm just going to go over some of those for you. In the table of contents, she identifies in first, the first chapter, she talks about understanding your fear of abandonment. What is it? Where did it come from? Why am I always so uneasy in relationships? Then she moves on to helping people assess their core beliefs about relationships and talks about several destructive core relationship beliefs that a lot of people with abandonment anxiety have. And she characterizes them, gives examples of them to make it really easy for clients to identify or people to identify and go, yeah, that sounds like me. Now, this is one of those books that is great for self-help and bibliotherapy. It's not one that has to be, you know, spoon-fed by a clinician, which is really awesome, uh, because, again, it is written in a very practical, straightforward manner. In the next chapter, she starts talking about relationship traps and triggers for abandonment fears. You know, when you get into that relationship, what happens? Why does it start out feeling so good, and then all of a sudden you start feeling nervous that you're going to be abandoned again. And that abandonment nervousness may kick off 12 hours into the relationship or 12 weeks into it, but it inevitably comes. And she encourages people to start looking back at what happens in a relationship, how it might remind them of prior experiences, what sorts of triggers might be there that are making those abandonment fears rise to the surface. She then moves on to helping people become mindful and present focused. And the present focus is really important. Becoming aware of when you're feeling anxious, why you're feeling anxious, what you might be telling yourself that is causing you to feel anxious, and then figuring out whether those are accurate thoughts to be having in the present is that what's going on in this relationship or are you reacting be based out of something that happened in your past she moves on to understanding your thoughts because we have these thoughts and these thoughts about needing to be with others and our goodness as people and whatever else they exist where did they come from why am i having them right now what is triggering me for example, to have this thought that I am defective. Once you understand your thoughts, you can start move, moving on to managing your emotions. When these thoughts are triggered, when we start having this abandonment anxiety, fighting with it doesn't do any good. Accepting that that anxiety is there and going, okay, I've been triggered. It is what it is. You know, that's my favorite phrase. And then figuring out how to manage those emotions so you don't react in a way that is destructive to your present relationship, which takes us down to changing your behaviors. Once you understand what you're thinking and you can get that anxiety under control a little bit where you accept what it is and you figure out what's the next thing I can do to improve how I'm feeling, that goes to changing your behaviors. What can you do? Instead of becoming passive aggressive, maybe you can be assertive. Instead of sabotaging yourself, maybe you can, you know, fill in the blank. And she talks about a lot of alternatives to respond to thoughts and fears surrounding anxiety, uh, abandonment anxiety. And she finishes up with new communication skills. 
focusing on that assertiveness, taking ownership for your feelings and your behaviors in the present moment, not blaming others and feeling empowered to say what your needs are and get your needs met. And then there's a little, you know, bonus chapter, if you will, where she talks about quick tips for new relationships. Theoretically, the person who is reading this book is reading through it and trying to understand about their fear of abandonment and maybe they're not in a relationship right now. And then, okay, they completed the book. It's like, you know, graduating from the course and they're ready to try a new relationship. So what are some quick tips for new relationships? And she goes over a bunch of those. As I said earlier, there are lots of worksheets to be completed by the person reading the book, and they can be great if the person's in therapy and they bring the worksheet in as a discussion starter. Uh, you can also use this book, have everybody in group buy a copy of the book, complete the worksheets, and bring it in and do groups revolving around each one of the worksheets and talking about the principles that they're trying to learn and trying to communicate with each worksheet. It makes about a 12-session group series. It's written in a down-to-earth way, as I said, which can be really useful for bibliotherapy. This is one that you can just recommend to clients and they can start reading it and then come in to their individual session and talk about what they learned. You don't have to explain anything to them. And part of that is because it's not overly saturated with jargon or, or theory. They're not talking a lot about, you know, cognitive distortions and um, subconscious and this, that, and the other. You know, it's presented in a very straightforward, useful manner. Love Me, Don't Leave Me by Michelle Skeen, PsyD, again, is available at newharminger.com. Love this book. You can go there and check it out and save 25% if you use promo code 1168SNIPES. 